What up guys and fellow lovers of the cubic world. Welcome back to another redstone video with me, George, of course. Oh, it has been a while since I've done that intro, but it does feel good. Anyways, today's video is going to be a very short one as I'm just going to showcase a fix for my previous design of one white tileable short compost loader. Uh, my previous design is this one, as you can see. And well, the problem with it as many of you pointed out in the comments, is that it is not really tileable. Why? Well, because sometimes when two adjacent uh, loaders power at the same time, or fire at the same time, there's a chance for this piston, whenever it's pushed upward like this, that it stays in this position forever. Why? Because of quasi-conductivity. Now this is true and it is completely my fault guys, <laughs> I totally overlooked this detail. So um, yeah, even though I said this was my, gonna be my final design, uh, well I made another one and I'm not gonna say that it's gonna be my final design because maybe you, you guys will find another thing that is wrong with it or maybe uh, redstone will change in the future and we will have to work on another one again. But for now it is the current design. Anyways, um, I decided to work on it because I was designing a storage uh, system and I needed a shulker loader and I could have used the ones that I always use, but instead I decided to work on this one and fix it and I managed to fix it and well, this is it guys. As you can see, it is very simple and well, in the previous video I showcased two different uh, designs. Unfortunately, one of them had a few other issues as well. So we only fixed one of them. <laughs> um, and maybe in the future I I'll work on the other one. But for now, I think this will suffice for all of your shulker loader needs. As long as it is, of course, uh, hover speed. So you already saw it in the video. You already saw it in the thumbnail. But in case that you want to see it for a bit more in more detail. Well, here is an image without anything else around it so you can focus solely on the loader. Um, as you can see, it is very simple. It is one wide, so you only need one side to be able to build it. And in case you still uh, didn't catch it quite well, I'm going to proceed and make a little explanation, very fast explanation for it. It's very similar to how it used to work on the previous design. We have the shulker box here, and as you can see, it has a couple of items inside of it, which means that this compressor is powered on. It is reading it through this concrete powder because it is a solid plug. Now, whenever this uh, compressor powers on, it opens this door and updates this block with this observer. So far, it is doing nothing, or right now it is doing nothing, but it will be very important whenever we have the shulker box full and we want to break it. Uh, for now, let's go to the next thing. So the next thing, it is very similar to the previous design. We are updating this redstone dust so that instead of a level 14 signal, we cause a 15. Observers have the ability to read it or to detect that change. Um, so this observer reads that and then powers this piston through this repeater. Now, in the previous design, we had a repeater that powered the piston and also an observer. We can actually see it right here. We have this repeater on four ticks that powers the piston directly, but also this observer that powers the piston even before the repeater. Well, on the new design, we only have this repeater powering the piston because this observer, as you can so notice from this arrow, is pointing that way. So instead of reading the, the server here and powering the piston, it's actually reading the piston and trying to power the observer. But anyways, whenever that happens, this sticky piston extends, it allows the piston here to be in this location and ultimately uh, extend and break up the shulker box. Now, whenever uh, the shulker box gets broken, we unpower this resistant torch. It allows the hopper to pick it up, which is the part that makes it 100% reliable in uh, staying in its lane. So basically, no other hopper is going to be able to, to collect this shulker box because this hopper is going to be powered by its own uh, torch and whenever this hopper is allowed to pick up items, it's going to pick up the shulker sitting on top of it instead of the other one. Uh, anyways, yeah, the redstone torch allows the hopper to pick up the shulker box and whenever it powers on again, 
it uh, ejects the shulker box through this dropper and collects it with this hopper down here, which is the one that we can connect to our storage system or whatever we want uh, to retrieve the full shulker boxes. Whenever it powers on again, we also are powering this dispenser, so a new empty shulker box replaces the old one. That's the part that you already know, guys. That's the easy part. Now, how are we powering this piston? Well, to power this piston, we are using quasi-connectivity. I know, guys. We are fixing quasi-connectivity with more quasi-connectivity. Redstone is weird. But hey, it works, and this time I did test it, as you can see over there. Uh, we'll get into that in a moment as well. But yeah, um, so whenever this piston... Uh, gets to this position the comparator as you can see can no longer read the shulker box because the piston is a transparent block rather than a solid block so when the comparator uh stops reading the shulker box this door closes and this observer powers this block again now if you know how quasi connectivity uh, works you may know that we can power pistons diagonally but when we do so Pistons won't do anything until we give them an update so that they can realize that they are powered. The same happens in an opposite way, and that's what was happening with the with the old design. The piston would stay like this, even though nothing was powering it. So we are powering this piston with quasi connectivity through this block. But how does the piston get update updated? Um, to know that it is being powered. Well, that's when these observers come into play. So this observer reads the sticky piston and then sig sends the signal up through this one. And this one is trying to power this comparator or this air gap, which is enough for this piston to update. But we have to do it at exactly the same time that this observer powers this uh, solid block. Because as, as you know, observers, um, output a very short pulse so if we if we take too much time to power this air gap this observer might be off already and the piston won't ever get power and the same the other way if we are too early to um to update the piston right here um this observer will not power the piston because the piston will never know that it was powered but that's how we do it and if you remember this mumbo jumbo contraption for the crafting table swapper, we are using the same principle. As you can see, this redstone dust is updating all of the blocks around it, which means that this piston through the air gap is getting updated to know that it's getting quasi powered diagonally from this block. It's the same principle, but put into play with shorter pulses. All right, so to be able to see it in action, I have a shulker box that's completely full uh, of items here in my hotbar. We're gonna freeze the game. I'm gonna place the shulker box right here. Now, if we advance the game by, I think, two ticks, so that's one, two, yep, the comparator will detect the shulker box. Now, we advance by two more ticks, and as you can see, both of servers here get powered. This one is already powering this block, but of course the piston is not extended yet, which is a good thing, because that means we are going to be able to get the shulker box right away in the hopper down here, instead of it being uh, queued inside of this dropper. So we are going to advance the game a few more ticks, and as you can see, in no long, yep, there we go, uh, the, the repeater here is going to power this piston. Whenever this piston gets to the top, the comparator stops powering the, the block here, the door updates. And as you can see, we already have power on this observer right here, which means on the next ticks, we're going to see power right here. One, two, there we go. We get some power right there, and we also get some power on this block, which means that the piston is already powered. And as you can see, the shulker box is gone, because... As soon as that happens, uh, the the piston updates, breaks the shulker box, immediately this redstone torch gets empowered, and the hopper picks up the shulker box. If we advance the game a few more ticks, we can see that the repeater will stop getting power. 
Uh, and since the compressor won't get any any other signal from here, uh, we are not getting another another redstone signal through these repeaters. And as you can see, that's enough time for the shulker box to pass from the hopper to the dropper, which means that on the next few ticks, right now, there we go, the torch will power, the dropper will get powered, the dispenser will get powered, and four ticks later, there we go, we can listen to it, uh, the dropper will output the shulker box and the hopper will catch it right here. And the new shulker box, if we had any, will be dispensed right there. So, yeah, as you can see, perfectly timed and it works very good. And we cannot get quasi power uh, for, on this piston or this adjacent piston anymore. Because, yeah, the, the pistons can get power diagonally like this, but not like this. So we are safe in that manner. Now, uh, if you remember one of my other previous Redstone one white tileable shulker box loader uh, videos, <laughs> I did something similar with command blocks. The command blocks in this line have a command to, uh, to summon items on top of these hoppers. Now, the reason I didn't do it with the... Uh, with the no item cost from carpet is because when I tick warp it or tick sprint it in or nowadays, uh, it doesn't work. The the hoppers run out of items. I don't know why. So I had to do it like this. And the way I did it is I just power it and then kill the items every so often so that we don't get uh, a, a lot of lag. And as you can see, all of the items are getting sucked up by the hoppers and entering into the shoulder boxes. We have non-stackables, we have stackables to 64 and stackables to 16, so that all of the shulkers um, get broken at a different time. And as you can see, we have several that are right next to each other to test the tileability of the, of the loaders. And so far, I have had no issues with it. And actually, you can see the counter right here. Oh, you cannot see it because I restarted the game. All right, let me run it for a bit and I'll get back to you guys. A few moments later. Cool. So it has been running for a bit, just for a little while. And as you can see, if we activate the counters, actually, let's turn this off because otherwise we're just going to get uh, more and more commands. There we go. As you can see, 20 minutes. Yeah, that's the that's the length of the of the test that I just did. The yellow boxes is a little bit less because, well, yellow boxes have stackable items, which means that it takes a little bit more time for them to fill up, and the counters weren't getting anything until after four minutes. Uh, but yeah, the test went like this, and as you can see on the orange carpet, or on the orange wool, we only have orange boxes, yellow wool, yellow boxes, and red, red boxes, which means that none of the boxes are getting through to the other lanes. They are all staying in their own lane, being catched by the their um, but their uh, specific copper. But as you can see, it works. And well, if you want to perform the test by yourselves, the world download will be down in the description as always. Uh, this will be reset. All of these shulker boxes empty. All of the doors should be also closed. And yeah, you can run it uh, by yourself, of course. Remember, you need carpet to see the, the, the counters down here. You need to activate the carpet. Actually, the, the world has already the, the hopper counters by default set to, through, to true, I believe. If not, I will set it uh, for the world download. And of course, the, the comment blocks up here will also be available to you. These ones summon the buckets, the glass bottles, and uh, let me find one, the potions, which are basically water bottles. <laughs> and also we have this, this clock running so that you won't lag your game. And that's because I tried it with the, without these three command blocks and my game crashed. I ran out of memory for it. Uh, so instead, what I did was add these three blocks and also the counter. And basically what they do is get rid of the specific items that we are fading into the hoppers every so often so that you don't lag out your game. Um, but yeah, it runs on a clock, which means that the items will keep spawning 
uh, even if these command blocks get rid of them every so often. By the way, if anyone knows why the the hopper no item cost is not working for me when I uh, tick sprint the game, please let me know down in the comments because that really baffled me when I tried. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's the whole thing to modify your loaders if you have them already built in your worlds. Uh, with the with the previous design it is very simple as you can see i put here three steps to do it the first step is to get rid of everything that's behind these pistons right here so this uh, area right here we just break it all destroy it and then the repeater down here we change it from two ticks to one tick the next step is to place these observers, one reading this sticky piston facing that way, another one facing upward uh, on top of the last one, reading it, uh, into a comparator that we're going to place right behind the concrete block, the powder con concrete powder, sorry, then a solid block on top of the comparator, and then below this observer, we're going to place a repeater uh, facing into this solid block that has the sticky piston on top of it, set to three ticks. And the third step is just finishing the thing. So we come here to the back. We place our redstone dust with an observer supporting it facing downward right next to the observer that is facing that way. And it's going to be powering a solid block. Next to the solid block, we'll place a redstone block with another redstone dust on top of it. On top of this redstone dust, we're going to place a transparent block that can hold a, a door. We're going to place the door on top of it. We're going to place a solid block right next to it uh, where the comparator is powering or is sending its power to. Then we're going to place an observer uh, next to the top part of the, of the door facing into the hoppers and into the block that we had just placed on top of the comparator. And that's basically it. Your shulker loader is done. Now, don't forget to place an empty shulker box already on top of this hopper because this shulker box loader won't work if you only put the the boxes in the dispenser as you can see it doesn't detect that you have to manually place one here or alternatively leave the the torch here for the end and whenever you're done building the rest of the thing you can place your torch and the dispenser will automatically place your boxes for you but anyways guys that's it for the tutorial well it wasn't really a tutorial it was more of a showcase and a fix for the previous design hopefully you liked it <laughs> hopefully this version works for you as you can see up there we are running in the 1.21 update right now so for those of you uh, saying in the comments that you needed a loader for the 1.21 here it is it works fine I don't know if for the next versions they changed something in the in the way that the redstone works. If they did, please leave me let me know down in the comments so that I can update the version if I if I am able to. Uh, but for now, this is the current state of our one white tileable shulker box loader. Um, a good thing is I think it's pretty much the same size as the previous version, so you shouldn't be having any trouble changing your um your loaders into the new version if you have them but anyways guys that's it for today thank you so much for watching if you like the video please leave a like uh, down below also leave your comments if you have any thoughts about it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already for now um yeah have a great day have a great week and i'll see you in the next one goodbye